This will be fun. Okay, guys, so we're going to do a review on four or at least three Sonic toys and one Hot Wheels Mario toy. So, yeah, let's start off with the Sonic stuff. Starting out with the small one. So, let's get these things out of the way. First, let's get on with this one. So this one is to commemorate the 30th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog being a franchise. So let's get this guy open. And of course, I'm going to put the original image of, of what this is based on on um, the screen. I'm opening this thing off screen because it's harder to open it when it's on screen. Oh god, it's a lot harder when you're when you're trying to open something and it doesn't even go your way. Okay, you do this thing. You crack it open. Crack it. Crack at it so many times. This is the first and only time I get to finish this recording. So yeah. This guy. And then we got Pop this guy out of it. How do this thing? How I'm gonna do it off camera? So this figurine is in, is based on a, a piece of artwork. Um, I'm gonna put the piece of artwork on here right now. So yeah, this is what the artwork is supposed to be based off of. Honestly, it's a good looking design. It's just meh in my opinion. Actually, it's not meh. It's honestly a pretty good design. But in articulation, just because the arms are molded, you can't, there isn't that many like posing ability. But I, but this was honestly made to be like more of a meme-ish figure. So I honestly can't complain that much. I mean, the mold, the sculpt looks good. Anyway, next figurine. I'm not gonna throw this thing. Trash. Trash. Yeet. Yeet. Okay, guys, so we're gonna put this thing aside and then we're gonna pick up this thing. Which is Mecha Sonic. Another toy to to commemorate the 30th anniversary or anniversary of Sonic. So then we open this thing up. Another infuriating thing. Another infuriating way how to not open a box. Let's finally open the box. Let's finally the box. Finally open. Yes, yeah, 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 Okay, we got the spikes. At first, I thought there was even there was only like three spikes, but apparently there are actually five. This thing is actually sharp. This thing is actually sharp. Don't, don't. Don't place this on the floor as a death trap. Don't know why I said that. But now let's get on to the main course. I'll do this off camera. Mecha Sonic, which I think this, 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 yep, this, I think it's from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Yeah, I think it's from Sonic 2. This thing is a robotic Sonic and this thing is awesome looking. For the people who recognize it from Sonic 2, this is your lucky day to wa be watching this video. The sculpt looks amazing. It almost looks like the actual sprite, except some of the details, like if you look at it from the side, it doesn't actually look as much like it does it in game. But still, I like how I like how there are springs on the back, even though it doesn't even sh in, in the game. I don't think it shows the back, but still, the details are honestly pretty good looking. And off camera, I realized that. It could bend its joints. So you can re recreate some of the poses that he does in the game in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which is a pog moment. <laughs> Why did I say that? But I also like the molded details, which these, it's something to com commemorate. These are all amazing. I like this, this, you can't joke around this, this detail. 
this thing can also stand up on its own, which I also which I like a lot. Because I like figures that can stand up on their own. So yeah. Let's move on to the next figure, which is let me get the trash out of here. Goodbye, trash. No one needs you. Because you pollute the world. And we now move on to <laughs> Mighty the Armadillo. And some of you may be thinking, who is this character? Well, this, along with the Mecha Sonic, are also on are also characters from back in the day. But Mighty the Armadillo is a special case because he has been featured in Mo Ma Sonic Mania Plus. So yeah. Along with the Mecha Sonic and the Son and the um, smaller Sonic figure, and the small um, Sonic smaller Sonic figure, these were all meant to commemorate the 30th anniversary, which is why these are big. And now we take out this, and then we take put this one down, and then we take out we first. Take, we take out both of these off camera. Okay, guys, so we got Mighty the Armadillo and this Sonic Monitor. This looks, these two look so good. I'm gonna review the Mighty Armadillo figure first. This thing honestly looks literally almost, at, this thing literally looks accurate to what Mighty, Des Mighty the Armadillo actually looks like in, in the games that he's featured in. Honestly, this looks amazing. Like, I don't know how to... I can't point out any of some of the flaws. I don't... I can't see any flaws. Like, I don't know what to say. Some of this... All of this just looks all amazing. You just can't say anything. I have no words to describe how amazing this thing looks. So yeah, wanna sleep? Just looks amazing. Look, look, I can't say anything that is bad about this thing. So yeah, now let's review this um, Sonic Monitor. So this one is, is based on the one in Sonic 1, if it wasn't obvious enough. Honestly, this just looks too good. Like I'm I made my own, like I made my own with my own drawing skills. But this one doesn't compare this one just doesn't compare with this with the other one. This one is way better than the other one that I made. This one's is just immeasurable amazing detail. So yeah. Honestly, now my big Jack specific Sonic now has someone else to now has someone else of its kind to be friends with. So get out of here, trash. We don't need you. Now let's go on to the final one, which is is the Mario Kart one. So this thing looks already opened is because I already did a take, but I messed up the line. So yeah. You have to do it again. So let's see. This one just looks like Mario. It just, but there are some flaws, in, unlike the Mighty one. First one being, I can't get the camera to focus on this, but you can kind of make out that the steering wheel isn't black, like it actually is supposed to be in game. And Mario's mustache doesn't, if you look closely, the master mustache, get into focus, camera! Get into focus! Okay. With, with all that aside, it's, it's honestly a pretty good looking thing for how small it is. Seriously, look how small this thing is. It's practically almost the size of the palm of my hand. Yeah, this thing... I see some good detail. My only complaint is that my only um, detail complaint is that 
the hat is only like the hat's um M is kind of off centered, but only by a small margin. So yeah, um, yeah, that's my only thing, my only problem with it. Everything else is yeah, perfect. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to help me a lot to create more quality content. And be sure to tap that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video comes out. Until then, see you guys.